hi everyone welcome and welcome again to my youtube channel thank you for always coming back to my youtube channel in case you're new here i'm pinky dano please subscribe comment share and like in today's video we are making a wrong dress a fishtail dress so if you want to know how i did this dress keep watching and let's get started <laughs> So this is the fabric that I'm going to use. It's a satin, bridal satin. So I'll just cut off the front, the front side. Right now I'm just measuring 16 inches, which is half long. I'll just draw my straight line. Then I'll take my scissor and cut it out. I'm done cutting it out right now. I just want to do a facing, like something like a lining. So, yeah, I'll just take the one that I've just cut it to draft on it. So, that's how I'm doing it. Let me take my scissors and cut it off. This is just for the flant, the top side. The bag is going to have some strap. So yeah, let's work on this one. Let me turn it so that it can be clear. First, I'll measure my shoulder, which is seven and a half, then three and a half, which is neck, armhole, eight inches. Then I'll connect my armhole like that. As you can see, I'm just trying to connect it. Then I'll measure four inches from armhole then five inches from neck then i'll connect it after that i think i'm done i just need to measure one inch to make it curve so that it should look at least v so yeah we're done we just need to cut it off so just cut it whenever you're cutting make sure that you cut properly because if you miss any point that means everything's wrong so this is done let me just take this and draft again like that that's the first thing the one i'm doing i'm just cutting it out then i'll be done with it so that's it let's finish this so this is done let's see how it's going to be that's how it is and this is how it's going to be with the strap so we're done let's do the the skirt like the down part so first i'll measure the waist which is eight inches after measuring the waist i'll measure the hip starting from the waist going down to the hip the hip it's 10 inches so I just measure 10 inches starting from there to there 10 inches like that then I'll just try to connect it make it curve after that I'll measure 16 inches the reason why I'm measuring 16 inches it's where like the tail will start we we'll start from yeah so 16 inch inches it's okay for me so that the person can be flexible rather than making it 20 or something something 20 and above that won't be good for me and the person will be comfortable so right now i just want to measure like the whole length So I'm just trying to measure the whole length. The whole length is 52 inches. Like from waist going down 52 inches. 
so I'll just draw my straight line then I'll connect with this part I'll just connect it to the that corner like that I just want to shade it out I just want to set it down there so that it can be easy for me even though my line wasn't so straight but it comes out straight so yeah so I'm just almost done now we can take the scissors and cut it out and I'll do the same process on the back side because this is the front side so I'll do the same I'll just add up on the zip line with maybe two inches after two inches then I'll make it kind of curve I'll make it to I, I will make it with a tail I'll add after two inches in sides then down there I'll add maybe like 10 to 15 inches then I'll make it to look curve yeah something like that then I'll make it to look curve after that we are done we are good to go so I'm done with the dress let's see how it looks so this is the dress and I was making this dress for dinner so this is how the dress looks like you can try this and you'll be amazed with the outcome see how the dress looks at my customer this is pretty thank you guys for watching see you again in my next video bye